in a city, we've really altered the environment. And so instead of the majority of water actually soaking down into the ground, it hits hard surfaces like concrete, like asphalt, like our rooftops, and runs off into some kind of infrastructure that's usually a storm inlet. The problem is, if it's raining heavy, there's not enough capacity in the system. And it's designed to overflow into the rivers and streams. We get a lot of rain in Philadelphia, and if we actually can capture the first inch of rain, we're able to manage the vast majority of rain events. Ultimately, if we're going to be successful at managing storm water, everyone is really going to need to participate in this. My name is Tony Federici. I'm an ecologist with URS Corporation. I work on a couple projects with the City of Philadelphia's Water Department. A lot of these are outreach for homeowners to try to um, increase awareness about stormwater. So what can a homeowner do in their own property? Hello. Hey, Robert how Williams, you? how are you doing? Good to see Good you today. See you again. Good. All welcome, right, welcome. how about the Phillies last oh, night? Fantastic. Huh? World Series. Fantastic. What's up? Well, we uh, wanted to check in with you again to see how the rain barrel's working out. You, you said ready? you got ready some time, we can walk around. Oh, got me all, all right. day. All right, I see you got the yellow hose here. What's yes. going on with that? We got the wet hose there, the soakings. And so it's watering these plants here? Yes, it is on right. both sides. Oh, okay, so you got it on that side too? Yes. Right, and how's that been working for you? Is beautiful. It, the pressure been okay? Yes, fantastic. After we made that adjustment right. of elevating another, right. send the block higher. Yeah, let's take a look okay. at it. Yeah, I think the one thing that we really try, you know, with folks is trying to tell them that it's not going to come out like um, a geyser, like it would come out with the pressure from the house. It's a slower flow. Yes, it so, is. So, so as long out. as we got a flat grade mm -hmm. away from the house, that water is going to travel down that pipe and on out to the flowers. Mm -hmm. And I see the ivy we clipped, that died, so this yes. tree's gonna make it. And yes. That can soak up some water too, another mm -hmm. part of your landscape that's helping capture some water. You know, you got this backyard to work with and to play with. Yes, two projections that we've thrown out. We're here with Reverend Williams, and his property is very typical of the urban home. We've got a backyard, we've got a house that's about 600 square foot of rooftop, and one downspout taking all that rainwater off that roof. When one inch of rain hits that rooftop, it produces about 375 gallons of water. So that's a, that's a lot of water. A 50 gallon rain barrel may not seem like it eliminates the problem, but this is a great opportunity for a homeowner to take 50, 55 gallons right off their rooftop that would head to the pipes. The city of Philadelphia reports that they've given out over 1,500 barrels. Well, 1,500 barrels over a year equates to over 5 million gallons of water if used properly. So with these barrels installed, you're relieving some of that pressure on the pipe system, taking a little of that energy that would have been sent down into the creeks and streams and uh, overwhelming them. People's main thing that they're concerned of is their basements being flooded. That's the critical issue. If they can do anything to eliminate that, so they can keep their property value up, they are for it. And when I explain to them how much water comes on their roof and I look at the water house backed up in the street, we can be a part of eliminating that. Just a little simple thing as a rain barrel. They should see my home and I show them how it's installed and how it works in watering my lawn and my flowers. They can use that water to wash their car with it. They can do all things that they would normally to have a bill running water, they don't have to do it. The water's right there in the rain barrel. They loved it, and now more people want it. I think designers need to start looking at what are ways we can take more water off that rooftop and put it into the backyards. For this property, we came up with a small rain garden that takes the overflow from a rain barrel and puts it into this backyard. Another option that we put out is a planter box that would have more of a sandy soil mix and water could flow into that planter box and go back into the overflow to the city storm system, still be connected to that, but be able to take a slug of water out just like the barrel. Every homeowner can have a real impact. 
one of the first things they can do is just sort of properly use the storm drains on the street. You know, we don't want people dumping litter or sweeping trash in there or changing the oil in their car in front of a storm drain and dumping it into because those storm drains can directly drain to the nearby creek. But property owners can also manage stormwater on their properties. A lot of properties have their downspouts connected directly to a storm sewer. If they can disconnect that downspout and allow it to sort of drain off into a garden area, a green lawn, you know, away from their basement and other properties, it recharges the groundwater table and it also cleans that water, allowing infiltration versus feeding that water back into the sewer system. And if you think about every citizen on a block taking that kind of action, if people got together that way, they could essentially sort of erase their block so they're no longer contributing stormwater flows to a sewer. They're now sort of allowing to go back into the earth. The new engineering is looking at water as a resource rather than just as a problem. You know, let's not just get water out of here. Let's, let's soak it up and let's use it. It's also free water we can use. When everybody can see something they can do that's positive, that can help us all in the long run. People can get on board and realize how important it is that they'll be a part of this.